So come and join us on this journey, join this movement, share this vision. Let's all sign up to Origin Green. Following Sir Ronan and following that video is a difficult task. Her message is clear and strong. Those words and that message will be echoed as we go through today's conference. Taoiseach, Minister, distinguished guests, uh, customers, colleagues, uh, it gives me great pleasure on behalf of Ward Bia to welcome you here uh, today to our conference, particularly the 350 international guests that we have here today who have travelled from all over the world. Welcome to this wonderful surroundings of the Dublin Convention Centre. I know how valuable all of your time is and your decision to invest that time with us here today is, I believe, a good investment. Some of you have been on this journey with us for some time. Some of you are joining on the first steps of this journey here today. For those of you who have been with us for the last few days, your visits to uh, farms, to producers, to manufacturers, I hope has given you first-hand experience that the commitment to excellence is an everyday part of the Irish food and drink sector. To the hundreds of customers of Irish suppliers in this room today, on behalf of your suppliers, both existing and hopefully some new ones that you're meeting on, today's, on, on this week's trip, uh, on their behalf, I'd like to say thank you for the business. Food and drink is, at the same time, our most globally spread export sector and also uh, within Ireland, our most regionally diverse industry. It's Ireland's most important indigenous industry and it's playing a significant role in the steady recovery of the Irish economy. Exports from this sector last year achieved 9 billion euro for the first time and continue to grow, reaching out to about 175 countries. The industry provides employment for 150,000 people directly and a similar number indirectly. Taken together, this industry accounts for about one-sixth of the entire Irish labour force. And as an industry, we have a very clear set of targets to, to direct our growth of exports sustainably uh, over the coming years. And Origin Green plays a very important part of that. Sustainability is deeply embedded in Food Harvest 2020, our strategic roadmap for this industry. And there's an opportunity to talk a bit about that as we go through today's agenda. Today is a day that signals changing times. I don't need to spell out to you the challenges that we face as an industry or the increased global uncertainty in which we operate, but there is no doubt that whatever your sector, whatever your perspective, sustainability will be integral to how you respond. And this conference today is part of how we respond. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the Minister for Agriculture, Food and the Marine, Mr. Simon Coveney. I single him out not just because he's our minister of this sector, or indeed to highlight the fact that he will speak to us and share his views uh, later on today. But I can say that if it were not for the minister, we would not be here today. This event and this week's events uh, are his brainchild and a testament to his leadership, his foresight and his vision that he brings to the industry. The minister will be with us throughout today. I hope as many of you as possible get a chance to meet and speak with him. Business people, like politicians, by and large, are hardened optimists. And today, we have a truly outstanding uh, list of industry leaders who are actively committed to a better future, whether it's through uh, leaving a lighter footprint on the planet, or by managing better our resources, or by embracing uh, new ideas and new relationships, or indeed all three. Their diverse stories have one common theme, that sustainability is a fundamental measure of our future success, both as business people and as citizens of this planet. I hope that what you see and hear today will inform, engage, and most of all, inspire. And words of inspiration are what I know you can expect from our first speaker today. He won universal praise for his astute and successful handling of the Irish presidency of the EU earlier this year, and his tireless commitment to the advancement of the Irish economy is recognized throughout the world and here at home. He has been the living embodiment of the message that Ireland is open for business and that we strive to become the best small country in the world to do business. We are fortunate to count him among the most avid supporters of the food and drink industry. Ladies and gentlemen, may I finish by wishing you a very enjoyable and productive day and ask you to welcome to the podium on Taoiseach, the Prime Minister of Ireland, Mr Enda Kenny. <laughs> 